Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of VGC Source. My name is Stephen McInerney and these are today's headlines. Sony unveils PlayStation Studios. Activision has announced Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Remasters. And Ubisoft will hold an E3 style showcase. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of VGC Source. I hope you're all feeling absolutely wonderful today and ready for some of the big news from the games industry. And we're gonna start today with Sony unveiling PlayStation Studios, its new brand which will go live alongside PlayStation 5 later this year. The PlayStation Studios brand will be used on games developed and managed by Sony. And as you can see on screen right now, it'll include an opening video featuring characters from Uncharted, Little Big Planet, God of War, Ratchet and Clank, Horizon Zero Dawn, and The Last of Us. As well as first party games developed by the likes of Naughty Dog and Media Molecule, the PlayStation Studios brand will also be used with games made by work for hire developers under Sony's direction. SIE's marketing boss Eric Lempel told GI.biz that future Sony PlayStation 4 games will carry the PlayStation Studios branding, but it won't be ready for the launch of The Last of Us Part 2 or Ghost of Tsushima. Lempel went on to say, Over the last few years, and even the last decade, the strength of the titles coming out from our studios has been stronger than ever. We have been thinking about how we unite all of these great games under one brand, and really the purpose of that is to make the consumer understand that when they see this brand, they're getting ready for a robust, innovative, deep experience that they've come to expect from games coming from PlayStation. Lempel said that the PlayStation Studios branding will exist in a lot of places, including game packaging, trailers and advertising. And the PlayStation Studios marketing follows Sony Interactive Entertainment centralizing of its operations into one global organization headquartered in San Mateo, California. Commenting on the restructuring process in November, PlayStation boss Jim Ryan dismissed suggestions the company was becoming Americanized and claimed the New Look organization has been designed to be more efficient ahead of the PlayStation 5 launch. In the past, PlayStation's regional arms were able to act autonomously, signing their own games and setting their own marketing budgets. This allowed regional departments in the US, Europe and Japan to specifically cater to their own audiences, but also had the downside of creating a disjointed group operation, which some third party publishers have said to express frustration with. And in news that is taking me back to my childhood in the most wonderful of ways, Activision has today announced it will release remastered versions of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 on September the 4th, 2020. Developed by Vicarious Visions, the game will be released in one package for Xbox One, PS4 and PC through the Epic Games Store. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 brings back the original levels, skaters, tricks, modes and songs from the iconic soundtrack, plus new ways to play including online multiplayer. It will also include creator skater and creator park features with the ability to share your creations online. And starting today, those who digitally pre-order Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 will receive access to the warehouse demo this summer. And in our final news story of the day, and it's good news for those like me who've been fearing a massive E3 shaped hole in their lives, while well, Ubisoft have confirmed that they'll have their own E3 style digital game showcase on July the 12th. Titled Ubisoft Forward, the publisher's first fully digital conference promises to include exclusive game news and product reveals. Ubisoft Forward will replace the Assassin's Creed publisher's traditional E3 press conference following the physical show's cancellation due to the coronavirus. And it promises to show new looks at Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Gods and Monsters, Watch Dogs Legion and Rainbow Six Quarantine, all of which will be available on current and next-gen consoles. June looks set to be a busy month in the gaming calendar despite the cancellation of E3 2020, which was originally scheduled for June the 9th to the 11th. Sony's being tipped to announce PlayStation 5 plans early next month, while a Cyberpunk 2077 reveal and an Electronic Arts Digital Games Showcase are both scheduled for June the 11th. Anyway guys, that's all we got time for on this episode of VGC Source. Thanks for watching. Do let us know down in the comments what you make of today's headlines, including the PlayStation Studios branding. And make sure to give this video a big like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes of VGC Source. For now though, have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow.